Hey guys, Zach here, coming at you with another video. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about my Harry Potter collection, my whole entire collection. Um, there's a lot of stuff I gotta go through. I wanted to do this video because I haven't really shown off my Harry Potter collection. Like, camera? Focus? Okay, I've never really shown off my Harry Potter collection, so uh, this should be fun. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It's going to be a long one. I've got so many things in my Harry Potter collection. If you've been with my channel throughout the past few years, you know how big my Harry Potter collection is. So without further ado, let's get started with it. <laughs> So I'm opening this drawer here because that's where all my movies are. And I'm, I'm going to get the obvious out of the way first. Um, movies. Um, I got Blu-rays. Um, I don't have every single movie on Blu-ray. I have um, quite a few of them though. I have Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, I have Deathly Hallows Part 1. I have Deathly Hallows Part 2. I have Half-Blood Prince. I have Goblet of Fire. And I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. And as for DVDs, I have every single Potter film. Every single one. Um, with the exception of Fantastic Beasts of Where to Find Them, because I have it on Blu-ray and it comes with a, a DVD as well. So, uh, Sorcerer's Stone, uh, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hallows Part 1, and Deathly Hallows Part 2. So, uh, yeah, that's every... Ooh, ooh, I hate that sound! Oh, uh, Half Blood. My, my copy of Half Blood Prince is like a holographic thing. Hold on, can, can you see it? Yeah, Draco and Snape, and then Harry Numbers or whatever. Like, you scratch it. Oh, I hate that sound. I, I can't tolerate it. I know I, I, that's going to be like a meme, but yeah, I can't tolerate that sound. But yeah, those are my movies. Um, as for video games, I do have quite a few of them. They're all packed away, unfortunately. I believe I basically have every single game. Um,. From, uh, except for Sorcerer's Stone, I don't have Sorcerer's Stone, and I don't have Half-Blood Prince. But I do believe I I do have Chamber of Secrets, Christmas of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Quidditch World Cup, Order of the Phoenix, uh, Death of Hell is Part 1, and Part 2. So I have all those games. I have the new uh, mobile game, which either I am posting a video about it, or I have already. Um, so, yeah, there's that. So next up, I'm just going to show you a bunch of little knickknacks. Um, I still have these. The, um, Every Flavor Beans. Um, I ate some of them a few years back. So, yes, these are a couple years old. So, obviously, I'm not going to eat them. Um, but, uh, they're Birdie Bots Every Flavor Beans. Uh, the packaging is so cute. That's why I haven't thrown it away because it just looks so cute. I love it. Um, makes me feel like a little wizard. This, uh, the main reason, the only reason I got it is because I believe I got it at, like, a thrift store for, like, 50 cents. Or not even that, I think. And it's a Harry Potter little magnet, uh, picture frame thing. It's got like a little magnet on the back there, and it's a picture frame. It's girly, but it was like 50 cents, and it's Harry Potter merch, so, you know, I had to get it. So, I have a bunch of stuff here that came in the, uh, like, in the in the Harry Potter crates. Uh, the, whoa, Jesus Christ. The Deathly Hallows, uh, locket, um, the, uh, prophecy pin, a little time turner choker, I think this was, and a sorting hat pin. Let's see here. One thing that sucks is I think I lost my uh, Prefect pin. I had like a little Prefect pin. Um, I actually might get another one because I kind of miss it. <laughs> right here I have this Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire film cell. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it. Um, because you need like light to kind of see it. Uh, you kind of see it a little bit. It's Harry and Ron in the Great Hall when the... Uh, when the schools arrive. I think in particular, it's when Bill Batten's arrive. So, uh, yeah, that's that. I kind of keep it in here to keep it, you know, nice and pretty. Next up here is this. Um, it's, it's a Cornish Pixie. Um, the main reason I got it is because it actually looks really cool. Um, yeah, it's Cornish Pixie. He says stuff. Where's the button?
So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I just think he looks cool because he like he kind of looks like really authentic looking. So glad I picked him up back in uh back at Universal, and because that's a year ago or no, that was two years ago. Just about two years ago, I posted that video um from Universal. So that's that's something. Next up here, I have this sneaker scope. Um, it lights up, and if you shake it around, like it'll light up. And why isn't it lighting up? Well, you're supposed to spin like a top. There we go. Yeah, you're supposed to push it in. And um, basically, the whole purpose of the sneaker scope in the Harry Potter films is it'll light up and spin when someone untrustworthy is nearby. So, hence why it's called a sneaker scope. Someone sneaking up on you. So, yeah, I love this thing. It's super cool. Next up here is one of the like little sticker kit things. It's a uh, Harry Potter little snow globe. Got Harry Potter on. It's got Harry on his broom. Uh, can't really see it because I shook it, but like the castles in the background and all that. So that's really really cool. Can't have like Harry Potter collection without having the glasses. These ones don't have the glass in them, but I do believe I have another pair that do have the glass in them. Actually, I even think it's right up there. So yeah, that's Harry Potter glasses. Next up here is the 20th anniversary edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, this is the Ravenclaw. Uh, edition because I'm a Ravenclaw and all that. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this. Uh, this is one of my favorite pieces of the collection, mainly because of, you know, it's a 20th anniversary book, only available in England, so, yeah. I got this at Universal. I was gonna grab, uh, like a Hungarian Horntail plush, but then I saw the, uh, storekeeper, uh, using, like, using one of these, because they were, I guess, promoting them, and I was like, okay, I have to give in. Um, and it is a Norbert puppet. I'm trying to get my hand properly assorted in there. There we go. Hi, my name's Norbert and I'm a dragon. Rawr. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, this is absolutely adorable. He's a little bit dirty, uh, so I gotta give him a little bit of a wash. Um, oh, and he, you can put him back in his egg. His egg's like, you put him in. Right? Hold on. Let me get him in there. Then you can put this on top. So now he's an egg, and then all of a sudden... Kachow! He's out and he's a dragon. So, yeah. I absolutely love this. This is super, super cool. Alright, so a couple other little random assorted things here. Um, we have an acceptance letter um, addressed to Harry Potter. Um, it has the, uh, you know, Dear Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted to Hogwarts School at Witchcock and Wizardry. The term begins on September 1st. We await your owl by no later than July 1st. And then it has, like, you know, a supply list. Um, so, yeah, that's a pretty legit, um, I, I think that came with one of, like, the, the books. Like, not the, like, you know, Harry Potter book, but, like, one of the film wizards. Like, it's a film wizardry, probably. So, yeah, there's that. There's a platform nine and three quarters ticket from London to Hogwarts. Uh, Top Trumps, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire edition. Basically has all the characters from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. For those of you who don't know, Top Trumps is a card game over in the UK where each character has certain attributes. Um, so, like, for example, here's Arthur Weasley, and he has certain attributes. Um, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, um, but he ha there are five attributes that they uh, that you can have. Sorry, it's really blurry. You can't see it. It says magic, cunning, courage, wisdom, temper. So the higher number you have, the better. If you have a higher... You have to say, okay, so let's say that uh, courage, the highest you can have was 30, and he has 29. So you say, okay, um, I bet that I have higher courage than you. The other player, who has a different character card, has to look at their courage, and they say, oh, I have, uh, 22, and say, I have 29, then you take the card. First one who runs out of cards loses. So, fun game, um, if you're a diehard Harry Potter fan, pick up, and it, they have these in every single movie, so you can pick out, you know, your favorite movie, all the way from Philosopher's Stone to, uh, Deathly Hallows Part 2, and top jumps. So, yeah. So, this is really cool. This is one of my favorite things. Um, it's a monster book of monsters. Um, it's uh, it's not, like, the really, really expensive one. It's, like, the Universal Studios one. Um, you know, it works. Um, you know, it's, it's super, super cool. It says the monster book of monsters on it. So, I mean, you can't really see it that well, but... Yeah, so the Monster Book of Monsters. Here are the glasses that have the glass in them. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So here I have the Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban Illustrated Editions. I do have Sorcerer's Stone. It's just packed away, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to take these off. Um, 
But, yeah, uh, I don't know where Sorcerer's Stone is. Like I said, it's packed away somewhere. Um, but, you know, very happy to have these. Unfortunately, we're going to have to wait an extra year for Goblet of Fire. Um, but that, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's excusable because Goblet of Fire is super, super long. So, um, yeah, so Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban Illustrated Editions. Next up is my wand collection. I only have three. I do want to get more wands in the future. Um, the first one being the Elder Wand. Obviously, uh, you guys probably saw I got this around Christmas time. Uh, super, super cool wand. Um, it's probably my favorite one, uh, simply because it's, it's the Elder Wand. Uh, so yeah, there's the Elder Wand. And there's also Voldemort's Wand. Um, I got this a while back, uh, but, you know, I like, you know, how, like, there's many different ways you can hold Voldemort's wand. I do it like this, because, like, you know, the thumb, like, rests around there, and then you just, whoosh, so, yeah, Voldemort's wand, and, um, here we have Newt Scamander's wand, um, now, all of these are official Noble Collection wands, um, I do want to get more, um, like, like, I mean, I want to get Harry and, you know, all the main characters from Harry Potter, um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll get more in the future, but for now, I only have three. And I do have this, uh, this base, um, for the wands. Uh, I keep the Elder Wand on it, though, because, you know, the Elder Wand's the one, you know, you want on display. So you probably, that's a little bit better. Alright, time for some more replicas. Um, we have here the Marauder's Map, um, giant freaking map, it's massive. Um, yeah, uh, it's huge. I love it, though. We have here the Triwizard Cup. Uh, this is not the Noble Collection one. This is the, uh, Universal Studios one, or Studio Tour one. The reason why I got this one is because, um, A, it's bigger than the Noble Collection one, and B, I like the fact that, um, the top here is clear. Um, the Triwizard Cup from the Noble Collection, it's not, it's like, it's baby blue, and it's more like a matte material rather than a see-through glass looking like plastic. Um, and this one lights up. So it looks really cool if you're in a dark room. So this one, and it's cheaper. So it has a lot more going for it than the Noble Collection one. Um, the only like ben, like the only upside of the Noble Collection one is that it's nicer quality. It's real metal. This one's plastic, but I do prefer this one simply because it looks better and uh, it's cheaper. Next up here, I keep this in this little case, but I have to kind of fix it a little bit. It is the uh, Ravenclaw Diadem. I'll take it out for you guys. Um, because it's, again, just like the Triwizard Cup, it's not an official one. Um, but I do kind of wish I got the official one, simply because this is very poor quality. Um, like, uh, like the gemstone fell off, and the gemstone doesn't look that great. Um, but... Uh, nevertheless, uh, this is the diadem of Rowena Ravenclaw. Um, but like I said, I mostly keep it in here, um, in this little display case thing. So yeah, Rowena Ravenclaw's lost diadem. If you don't care about quality that much, um, which I don't really know anyone who does not care about quality, um, then this might be like a suitable option. This is, this was only like 15 bucks. But each time, the gemstone's been messed up. Like, I, like you can probably see that the gemstone is kind of, like, all funky at the bottom there. So, uh, yeah. Rain of Ravenclaw's Lost Diadem. So, next up here, I have a Time Turner replica. Now, this is also not official. This is, um, like, another brand. Um, really, like, I don't mind this one. This one's okay. Um, the main, like, the main thing, um, that's just not authentic is that, like, these, like, the knobs on the, jeez, the knobs on the side don't turn. But other than that, it looks great. I actually do like this. If you'd rather um, a like cheaper alternative to the Time Turner, then this is it because um, this one's not expensive at all. You can get these for pretty cheap. I don't remember exactly how much, but you can. Next up here is the Locket for um, Salazar Slytherin. Uh, and this is, again, not Noble Collection. This is the sticker kit version. Um, it's uh, it's pretty cool, actually. Not gonna lie, not bad. I hate the sticker kit time turner, but the sticker kit uh, locket is pretty damn good. So there's this. You can get these for like five bucks, ten bucks, not even. Next up here, I have a Deathly Hallows neck uh, necklace. 
Um, obviously featuring the Deathly Hallows. Um, if you don't know what the Deathly Hallows are, then I don't know. How to, I don't know what to say. Um, but yeah, Deathly Hallows got how a Harry Potter uh like keychain thing. Uh, there's got an owl with a Hogwarts letter, a little tassel there. Uh, perfect for like a key ring, uh, which will go perfectly with this, which is a uh, platform nine and three quarters lanyard. Uh, it has like a little Hogwarts uh, ticket in it. It has a little Ho Hogwarts Quest keychain. So yeah, I might actually make this my primary uh, keychain. So yeah, or lanyard, sorry. So yeah. All right, guys. So next up is here's a bunch of stuff I don't want to move. So I'm just going to show you right, right here. Um, my Harry Potter NECA figurines. There's Harry. Um, now, unfortunately, during the move, a lot of them, their wands broke. So, Harry's wand broke, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But Harry, the Triwizard Harry is the really cheap one. So, hopefully, I can get another one of him, maybe, to replace this one. Uh, my favorite of the bunch, thankfully, nothing broken at all. Uh, it's the Dementor. I freaking love the Dementors in Harry Potter. They're scary, they're creepy, but they're awesome. Um, we got Snape. He's another one where the wand broke. Uh, Mad Eye Moody. He's my most recent one. Probably my favorite, besides the Dementor. Except I can't get his staff to make him stand, or to get his staff to stand. And Voldemort. Um, his wand went missing, so I don't know where his wand went, but it's Voldemort. Uh, Goblet of Fire, Voldemort. Yeah. Uh, you can see behind them, there's a Harry Potter Triwizard Tournament doll. He was like not even 10 bucks, so obviously I got him. Uh, Night Plus uh, 3D Puzzle, I still have yet to put it together. But uh, once I get into my new room where I can probably display it, I'm going to put it together. Uh, set of Harry Potter books right here um, that are... Uh, it's it's like a certain edition. I don't know exactly what edition it is, but it's paperback. And then I have four, the four uh, Harry Potter rock candies. I am missing one. Actually, two. Both of them are Luna, but they're different versions of Luna. But I have Harry, sorry, Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Bellatrix Lestrange. So, yeah. That's that over here. Over here, I have uh, my Ravenclaw banner. And if I go down... Now, this here is a Harry Potter Lego set. It is the Hogwarts um, set. And I also have the Hagrid's Hut set. Um, yeah, it came with a lot of little minifigures there, um, all that stuff. And then down here we have the Harry Potter book series. Uh, this is only one through six. My seventh and eighth books, um, uh, uh, freaking Deathly Hallows and Cursed Child, they're both packed away. And, uh, these are just a couple, like, little Harry Potter figures that I have. It's Harry and Hermione. So, yeah, there's that. Oh, and I have the wand... Uh, collection book here. So, yeah, that's that. And over here, I have um, all these NECA, Harry Potter, NECA, wow, uh, Funko Pop figurines. I have a lot of them. Uh, I have a collection video where I show you, like, all of them up close and more in detail. So if you want to see that, link in the description, or I'll probably put something clickable at the end of the video. And over here, um, I have another one of my boxes. Um, it's got Pigwidgeon, uh, some socks. It's got... Uh, Picket, uh, some Harry Potter audio uh, books, uh, got my Triwizard jersey, um, I love this thing, uh, Quidditch, can't really see it too well, but it's a Quidditch set, let me pull out, comes with a quaffle and bludges and such, Dolores on a unicycle here, I freaking love this thing, and then over here, um, we have a bunch of my robes and such, so here's my Ravenclaw robe, let me just... Spin it around. There we go. There's my Ravenclaw robe. Uh, there's a Gryffindor scarf. Uh, they don't. They don't have Ravenclaw, which kind of sucks. Um, but there's like, or at least Cinnamon Replicas doesn't have Repl uh, Ravenclaw. But I know that there are Replicas out there. Um, Ravenclaw Quidditch robes. Still working on this costume uh, for cosplay purposes. Um, Hogwarts jacket. I've worn this before in a video. Um, Severus Snape T-shirt. Show you that one up close more uh, in a bit. Bathrobe, Quidditch bathrobe, uh, Ravenclaw tie for the costume. Um, and there's another one here, which is the uh, New York newspaper, Wizarding newspaper. 
uh, yeah, and we're gonna wrap up here shortly. We're almost done, so let's sh let me show you the last few things. All right, so we're wrapping up here, almost done. Now keep in mind that this isn't everything that I've gotten. I know, I know, there's a lot more uh, that's probably packed away and such that I'm just forgetting about. Um, but you know, there's oh, there's a lot here, so I figured it was still worth showing. And plus, I needed video ideas. Um, so there's this Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire poster. Oops. I know I have another poster. It is the Quidditch World Cup poster. Um, and, uh, unfortunately it's just packed away. It's like everything else. But, um, yeah, there's that. I've got this cool little Harry Potter print. Um, I showed this off a while ago. Uh, boy. Yeah, still got it. Some clothing. I got this Harry Potter sweater. I've got this Harry Potter Hogwarts um, t-shirt here. I got this shirt that I got Universal. It says, I serve time in Azkaban. Approach with extreme caution. Do not attempt to use magic against this wizard. Or against this person. Yeah. And then lastly here, I have my Harry Potter... Uh, Tri-Wizard Tournament, or Tri-Wizard Champion, sorry, t-shirt. So that's all I've got to show you today. Um, figured I would do a little bit of a show-off of my Harry Potter collection. Um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have anything that I showed off, or, um, or, you know, or if you're not really a huge Harry Potter watcher, um, if there was something that you were like, oh, hey, I actually recognize that from movies. Um... Which, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of stuff, like, prop up because and stuff. So, I mean, you sh there's got to be something that you recognize. But, um, yeah. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, guys. Well, this is going to be fun to clean up. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.